Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a moving background with KineMaster like this. This look is not only elegant, but it's also the industry standard when it comes to moving background. Here are some respected names within the industry utilizing these techniques. The first example is a 1x1 talking head box with a 16x9 highlight. The second example is a 1x1 talking head box with a 16x9 aspect ratio. The difference on this one is not only that the box is on the right side, but the box is also larger than the previous one. Third is the 9x16 with a 16x9 highlight, and this one is my absolute favorite. And lastly is the two one by one talking head for when you don't want to highlight something specific other than location. To make it easy for you, I'm going to split this tutorial in four parts. The first thing that you are going to build is gonna be your background composition. Second, you are going to build the background layer. Third, you are going to build the talking head aspect ratio or box. And lastly, you are going to build your highlight aspect ratio, which is going to be 16 by nine on every case. Without any further ado, let's go on there. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to create the background composition. So for that, open KineMaster, tap on Create New, select your uh, aspect ratio, then I'm gonna tap on Next. Now I'm gonna tap on Image Assets, I'm gonna choose the black color, and I'm gonna hit the back button. I'm gonna highlight my clip, I'm gonna go to Clips, uh, Clip Graphics, and I'm gonna find the graphic that I need for this background composition. I'm gonna tap on Chrome's frame. I'm gonna choose number four. And I'm gonna tap on the text box. I'm gonna give it a space to make it disappear. Same thing with the next one. And same thing with the next one. So now the text box is not on the way. The reason why I'm doing this is because obviously the click graphic is gonna apply the graphic throughout the clip but I only want one part of that graphic. So I'm gonna find that part, which is this one over here. I'm gonna tap in Capture, Capture and Add as Clip, and I'm gonna delete the first part that has the uh, original graphic. So tap on it and delete it. So now I have a solid uh, background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the movement that I want for this background. So I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna tap the pan and zoom button. I'm gonna link both of the clips, the uh, starting position and the ending position. I'm gonna, with two fingers, make it bigger. I'm gonna unlink them. I'm gonna tap on the end position. Two fingers again, I'm gonna make it smaller. And now this clip has the movement that I want. So that part is completed. So now I'm going to build the background layer. So I'm gonna tap the back button. I'm gonna tap on create new, select 16 by nine, tap on next, tap on uh, image asset, tap on the black color, tap the back button, and then I'm gonna go into my library where do I have my logo, because that's what I'm gonna use for my background. So my logo is on uh, Pixar, so I'm gonna find it, here it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill the screen with my logo entirely, so I'm gonna, uh, Accelerate this process so you don't have to wait through all the whole thing. So my background layer is completed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap in Capture and I'm gonna tap in Capture and Save. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, background composition, I'm gonna tap on layer, I'm gonna tap on media, and I'm gonna bring back that, uh, the background layer that I exported out of KineMaster. I'm gonna tap on it, select it, go all the way down to blending, tap on blending, screen, and the black background uh, will disappear. Make it a little bit bigger, and now I have one movement on the uh, background composition, which is the zoom out, and I'm gonna create one movement for my background layer. So I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna get to the uh, a key. I'm gonna tap the animation key and I'm gonna frame it all the way to the end. I'm gonna tap on the plus button and I'm gonna create a little movement to the left. The layer is going to the side and the background is zooming in. 
So the third step is going to be to build your uh, talking head aspect ratio or box. So what I did was instead of jumping from the one by one aspect ratio to the 16 by nine, I recorded everything on 16 by nine. I gave myself a lot of room so that way I can crop in and end up with a one by one aspect ratio like this one. So all I'm going to do with this clip is convert it to one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, cropping. I'm going to make it square. Then I'm going to tap OK. And I'm going to zoom in. So now that I have my main clip set up, I'm going to set up my second clip. So I'm going to move the main clip out of the way so you see exactly what I'm doing. And this is the 16 by 9 clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the entry of the uh, second clip. So I'm going to tap on the clip, I'm going to tap on in animation, I'm going to use uh, scale up so that clip is set up, all set. And now the main clip to create movement on that one, I'm going to utilize the keyframe. So tap on the keyframe, uh, keyframe button, move it just a little bit, by the next entry, tap the plus button, uh, make it smaller. I was going to say tap OK, but you need to make it smaller first. So you make it smaller smaller right there then you position your clip exactly where you want it tap ok move the second clip next to that entry and let's see how it works also try to follow certain guidelines within the industry standard so you will look like the professionals do Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you next time on the water.